everybody to come together and feel safe, and that's not going to be destroyed by people who think they have a right to. They have a right to a militia, not to mass murder. And the situation in Dallas happened just hours after a new rallying cry in Orlando, a new push to ban assault weapons after the Pulse attack. Supporters say they won't stop until lawmakers do something. At the head of this push, Orlando City Commissioner Patty Sheehan. She talked to our Eric Sandoval, who is live outside Pulse tonight. And Eric, she stressed this isn't a fight over the Second Amendment. No, absolutely not. She had actually told me she owns a gun. She actually had to use it not long ago to scare off a burglar at her house, Ginger. This group and Sheehan want to ban assault-style weapons like the one that was used here at Pulse, and they say they are ready to fight the NRA. We are people who love, but we're pissed, and we're going to fight back about this. Ban them now! Ban them now! Orlando City Commissioner Patty Sheehan joined a growing group of people on the steps of City Hall tonight. But it says the right to bear arms and the right to a militia, not the right to mass murder. Calling for the reinstatement of the ban on assault-style weapons. I talked to some of these families. They couldn't even have open caskets because this guy has shot their... their their family members in the head after shooting them eight times. It's time to stop it. Purpose of an assault rifle is to kill as many as quickly as possible. We don't need that. The rally was organized by the group Ban Them, spearheaded by Carlos Navarro. It's to show the NRA that we are united and we're not going to be taken lightly anymore. We asked the National Rifle Association their views on tonight's rally and the movement that's grown since Pulse. They told News 6 anti-gun politicians are trying to exploit the terrorist attack for political gain instead of looking for solutions at the root of the problem. Ban them now! Ban them now! Sheehan says she and this group are ready to fight. I'm done with it. It's time to fight back to the gun industry and say you are not allowed to have these weapons on our street and we are not going to allow it anymore. Now, Congressman Alan Grayson has already submitted a bill that would do just that. It would ban assault weapons. We checked tonight. It won't even come up for a vote until September at the very earliest. And that is when Congress reconvenes after their summer recess. We're live at Pulse Nightclub tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Ginger.